Okay, so next, um, people are always asking me about um, olive trees. Um, I've got this one to prune here today. Um, this one I planted for the customer a few years ago, probably four, might even be five years ago. Um, as you can see, it's doing really well. Um, I just give it a prune every year. Um, and you can see how much it's actually grown. Um, so I just need to prune it off the shed, um, off, not the shed, the summer house roof, um, and then just give it a general um, shape up. Um, so people always seem to think that olive trees are um, a bit delicate. Um, it's not really the case. Um, on the south coast UK here they seem to grow quite happily um, I've even seen them as hedges um, I've actually done a job um, where someone had planted one as a screen at the bottom of their garden um, to screen them from the houses behind and I've been back once or twice to trim it because um, it grows so vigorously um, Another customer has one in their front garden, which I just basically run the hedge cutter over um, once a year just to keep it in shape. Um, so yeah, this one I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. Um, fairly straightforward and I've been doing this one, well, ever since I planted it, three, four, five years. Um, and well, you can see how well it's doing. Um, so basically you can uh, see, I'll just have to take it off the roof there and then just give it a, a nice little shape up. So, right, I'm gonna get started with that.
Okay, so there we go. Uh, just finished pruning that. So, as you can see, I've just reduced the overall size um, of it and shaped it. Just trimmed it um, so it's not actually touching the roof or rubbing on the roof. So, um, yeah, that's the idea. Um, I always think um, if you can prune it by hand and um, try and almost make it look like it hasn't been pruned but you've reduced the the size um, then you've kind of done a good job um, unless of course you're going for a more formal look um, in which case probably using a hedge cutter um, I mean to be honest olive trees are pretty tough depending on where you live in but to be honest if they're growing and healthy looking good good like this one um, then they're probably quite happy and they'll take almost whatever treatment you give them so like I say I've used a hedge cutter on them I've pruned them like this you know um, pruned them quite hard before as well um, so yeah my advice would be if they're growing healthily and strongly um, don't be frightened to prune them um, if you need to um, I mean, depending on the situation, this one obviously, where it's growing, you know, doesn't want to get really any bigger than that. Um, so hence we prune it every year. But depending where you've got one growing, you know, you might be able to let it get um, a bit larger. So yeah, depending what you're aiming for, don't be frightened to trim it. Um, but yeah, this is uh, the finished job there.